In this video, we're actually going to demonstrate bilateral submandibular swelling after the administration of um, contrast material. And uh, we have never seen this before. So you want to tell your story a little bit? So yeah. just, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell your story for you. But okay. basically, you, you had, a, had a CT scan. Mm -hmm. And prior, a prior CT scan, you had swelling um, of, the, of the glands under your neck. Mm -hmm. And so this time, they said, okay, we're going to go ahead and give you some steroids and, and Benadryl and, right. and ahead of time and but you still had swelling of these glands. You can actually palpate the submandibular glands here and, and it's, it's puffy right in there too but you can feel uh, clearly feel the uh, submandibular glands are quite swollen. We found this article online and because um, we had never seen this before and, and thanks to the internet and uh, Google the good thing, it sounds like this resolves on its own. It sounds like it's a benign, ultimately it, it's a benign condition. The theory as, as postulated in that article is that the iodine, it's an iodine related sensitivity that gets involved in the submandibular gland ducts and then causes either obstruction or causes uh, swelling of the submandibular glands. Only the submandibular glands getting, getting involved in swelling up has been previously reported and it apparently happens for some reason. We're not sure. When did the swelling start? About 3 o'clock this morning. 3 o'clock this morning, okay. okay. And when did you have the CT scan with the IV contrast? It, um, on yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon, okay. The swelling that you had that uh, began about 3 o'clock this morning, that actually... It, um, it was it was, small. Actually, it was small. And then and it, then it, it was got, mostly on this side. Okay. And then, and I got up because my throat was scratchy. And then I felt it. And I got up and went in the bathroom and flipped on the light. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's falling up. Yeah. So I, didn't, I, I was scared to go back to sleep. As you sat out there, though, the swelling has gone down a little. A bit, little, yeah. a little bit. So, so what we're capturing now is not actually not even as nearly as bad no, as it was. It's not as big as it was. Okay. Now I want to take a look inside your mouth for a second here. It's distinctly the something I didn't want to next Nothing up here hurts. Mm -hmm. Nothing in the parotid gland. And, your, and your, your mouth was dry? Yeah. yeah. Well, which you, you would expect if mm -hmm. the glands are obstructed. Can you lift your tongue up for me? Hmm. Is it tender? Oh. Is it tender? Yeah, so this right here is the salivary gland. And I'm looking for edema. I don't see any clear edema but you can see that it's, it's got you know quite a quite a lot of blood flow coming through right there maybe a little hypervascularity or... yeah same spot on the other side yeah right where you are right now right where i'm at oh, yeah right there uh -oh. so we're going to be palpating the salivary glands see if we can create any secretions sometimes once i actually uh, am uh. No. So that causes pain. Okay. Sorry.